This is Outdated, and welcome back to the Bonfire Chronicles. I am logging in, and I believe this may be our final episode. I know last episode I was going looking for some stuff, but I realized I can't get that stuff until I do the DLC. And when I decided to go into this whole, um, you know, running through the entire Dark Souls franchise, I decided at the time the whole purpose was to give you the cred of solving a Dark Souls game the quickest way possible for the most part. That would mean the DLC, which is unnecessary for any of that. Uh, I might as well just like not worry about the DLC. So that's what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go ahead and finish this thing off. Is that what I need? No. So what I'm looking for at the moment is Trying Light Castle. There it is. And I want to say this is actually where I need to be. Let's see. Looks like I haven't thoroughly explored Trying Light Castle. Looks like there's some stuff I'm missing. But I want to say I'm pretty close. Yeah, this is where I need to go. So let's just go ahead and get this ready because I already know what's about to happen. You? Yeah, there we are. You're already dead. Now you? Okay, maybe not. Okay, I need to equip the King's Ring. I just gotta remember which one it is. That's it. It's working. So let's go back. Oh, there she is, the Emerald Herald, and she removes the hood. Is already complete. My name is Shanalot. Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men, by ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. They failed. I did not come out as intended. <coughs> Fate would not be best. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. You're not. It's the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest. making sure she has nothing else to say all right and away we go the throne of want be wary of dangerous zone in fairness there's absolutely nothing through here you just walk straight to right there and if I'm not mistaken there should be a summon sign or two there now here's the deal in original Dark Souls 2, so not Scholar of the First Sin, you will have two boss fights, they're back to back. The first one is the Watcher and the Defender, and the second one is the Chandra. Now, the important thing to note is they are back to back. Any resources you use in the first one are lost for the second one. So, with that in mind, it's probably not a bad idea to have some useful items, you know, stored. Oh, restore many spell uses. Restore spell. I'm putting that on there because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Um. So whatever resources, they're just gone. Now the Watcher and Defender, they have a little trick to them. You have to kill them both within a certain amount of time. You have to like, if you kill one and then work on the other one, the first one will resurrect again. Trust me when I say that will suck. So let's not do it. Head of Vangarl. Yeah, come on, buddy. Join me, sir. Join me. Um, so, 
Now this is the Skull Island First Sin Edition. So we will have those two boss fights back to back, and then we will have one more. So it makes it even worse. Ben Hart of Jugo. So these give me a couple of tanks to stay up close while I pepper them. And so what I'm going to do is use my spells to concentrate on keeping them even so we can kill them both quickly, okay? Now the good thing is these guys will stay with you as long as they survive. Here we go. Watcher and Defender. Get him, guys. Whoa. Better work on the other guy. I see what you're doing there. Whoa. That hurt. Thanks, dude. Trying to even them up. Oh god. Dude, 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 dude. I was evening you up. Oh god, they're both after me. Come on, guys. Give me a hand, dudes. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Heal. Heal. Okay, now your turn. Oh god. Can you go back there? He's pumped up with something. Let's give him a little bit of love. They're both pumped up with something. Guys, help. Didn't mean to hit you that time, but that's okay. Just gotta keep it up. I thought I just lost one of my guys. Come on, finish him. Got them both. Yes. Okay. Problem is, head of Vengar was uh, not doing so great. Throne Defender Soul, Throne Watcher Soul, okay? Whew. Okay, and we are not done yet. Here comes. Chandra. This is what Nashandra actually looks like. Jeez, she's got some junk on the trunk. This is a great introduction. To what she really looks like. I just, you know, yet again, it's dudes in armor kind of a thing, persons in armor. Okay, so she is kind of dark related, so I am going to make a change. Ah! Did it work? No, it didn't work. Oh, Lord. Alright, that didn't work at all. I'm in trouble. There we go. We're gonna hit her with this stuff. Here comes the laser. Ow, got me in the head. Okay, you do that. Give you another couple of these. Okay, we'll do that again. Dang it. I'm 
cursed again and I'm dead. Okay. <clears throat> so the question is, when I go back in, do I have to do the Watcher and Defender again? Or do I go straight to Nassandra? I have to be honest, I have no idea. Because I beat them first run when I played this thing before. You know, I'm going to do some spell changes here. I don't think this one is going to do me much good. So let's switch out. Go to something I feel is a little more helpful. Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Great Heavy Soul Arrow. We'll do that. Yeah, everything else I think I'll... Leave. You know what? Let's, let's switch this out too. And go with uh, Great Heavy Soul Arrow one more time. Alright. All right, um, and that took a chunk off of my uh, my souls there. That took a chunk. Now, what do I need to do to remove curse? Let's see. Because when you get cursed, you lose like health permanently, and you have to do something to get rid of the curse. Bleeding effects. No, you're useless. Hmm. Well, I'm having no luck finding what I need. Scales offered to, to the dragon. Tailed offered to the rat king. And I identified petrified egg. Soul of a Giant, Crushed Egg, Ultra Crushed Eye, Orb Invade World of a Traitor. Got a lot of Ferris Lockstones, don't I? Dang. Um, hmm. I am at a pinch here. You know what? Let's use that. Will that work? Does that remove the curse? It does not. So maybe one of these does. Did it do it? It did. So it's rest. Alright, that's what I needed. Alright, let's do this. Let's go back to you. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this idiot again. You suck. Gotcha. Whoa. Did you drop something? You did. Science Halbert. Okay. There it goes. It's going to open. Alright, so here's the question. Am I going to have to deal with Watcher and Defender again? That I don't know. She's gone because she already talked to me, so that's good. Now that I've, uh... Now that I've gone through that, she's not there, so maybe I'll get lucky and Watcher and Defender are dead. I mean, I do have their souls after all. So I'm hoping so. That sucked. The first time I played it, I beat all three of them first try. That being said, I also had done the DLC and was, you know, like about 20 levels higher than where I am now. And I'm over-leveled anyway. I just did not play that well. Those cursed things. I mean, you just have to attack them, I think, to get rid of them. Okay, good. I can summon my boys again. Let's go ahead and summon them. Head of Vengarl and... Ben Hart of Juno. Come, my friend, once more into the breach. You too, with the once more and the into and into the breach. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Hopefully. It's her. Good. Good. We just have to worry about her. 
This is doable. It just does a slightly different cutscene. Nice. What's well, a new cutscene? Slap. Okay, sure will. All right. Okay, we're just gonna work on this. Now that's not a lot of damage. So let's just go in. Back out, back out, back out. I don't wanna deal with that again. Come on, get rid of you. Did that get rid of it? It didn't. Thought that got rid of them. All right. All right, where are my boys? Okay, one of them's still in the fight for now. No, two of them are. Just keep peppering her. She's bringing more of this garbage. Okay, this cursed garbage sucks. Whoa, 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 dodge. Dodge. Oh, dodge. You know what? I think it's time to get personal. Oh, crap. What is she doing? That. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Nope, didn't make it. Crap. I almost beat her though. Okay, this is just in. I've got to take those things out. The problem with taking those things out is you get cursed real easy. I'm not really sure how to take them out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, well, I already know what to do. I just don't want to use all these up. Rest. All right, what do we want to do? First things first, take out this idiot, because we know what he's going to do. Be an idiot. You just stay there and let me bust your guard down. There it is, now let's hit him again. Oh, he already got his guard back up. He's going to make me use up all my stuff, isn't he? Here, backstab your face. Okay, I just realized that didn't make a bit of sense. But he's dead, and that's what matters. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, so what do I need to do? One thing I think I'm going to do is go ahead and add this to my thing. Because then I can just pop it in the fight. I think just doing that once in the fight would actually be incredibly helpful. And I think I'm still going to bring my boys in. Oh, I think I'll still bring both of them in. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should bring them both in, honestly. Tough decisions. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to... Yep, I've got it. Alright, I'm going to back off, and I'm going to use a smaller spell, and I'm going to shoot the uh, 
things and see if that helps. If I can just shoot the hex things, see if that will um, work. We're going to try that method. Because if I stay away, I don't get hexed. There we go. Hit a Vengarl. Getting in close, or even going after the hex things is just annoying. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's do it, guys. Yeah, I got the right one. All right, no more film. No, whoa, it's right on top of me. Back up, back up, back up, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna pop over these. Just gonna totally focus on slamming her. Did that work? It didn't. Crap. Right, you know what? We're just keep peppering you then. I know that they're gonna die soon, but just keep hitting her. Right, we got her to half. Somebody's out. Keep hitting her. Putting those back in, huh? Come on. Heal. Shoot. Do this. Why am I not? Oh, it's because they're still here. Crap, I'm in trouble. Ow, God. Don't you? Oh, he just got it. Mm. Okay. She's tough. Okay. Um, I can't believe this, though. I mean, I, I went through her with ease the first time, but I think I stayed melee and just kind of got behind her. All right, you know what? Let's do this again. Bud on. Okay. Let's rest. Here we go. Let's take this idiot out. You know, I think about it. Let's let's do this old school. Oops. Now I get the backstab. Nicely done. We'll use a radiant life gem. See if that gets me back up. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It did, okay. You know, now I think about it, based on how I was losing health, if I pop a radiant life gem, while I'm losing health, I may not lose health. We're gonna try that. I don't know how often I've been challenged in this playthrough, really, like with a really, like where I've had to face a boss a ton of times. Um, I think there's been a couple. I'm trying to remember what they were, but. I don't mean like two or three. I mean, that's a Dark Souls thing. It happens all the time. I mean, like, you know, in the 10 or above kind of range. That's, I mean, heck, that's actually not that unusual. But either way, let's see. Now, I am bringing these guys in, which really increases her health pool. But I also know that they provide a nice distraction. Drawing aggro does help. Of course, this doesn't help in this specific case. You know what? One more thing's going to go into the old equipment thing. 
repair powder. There we go. All right, guys. I am still going to cast these initial spells at her because the damage they do is pretty substantial. Do that. Pop that to get a little bit of health. Out of that. She's doing it again, isn't she? No, that didn't do it. Let's keep hitting her. Keep hitting her. Here they come. Here they are. Alright, let's... Why, but I lost what's going on. All right, getting rid of you. All right, back to shooting her. I think we've got this. Watch out for the laser. a mistake. There's the heal right there. That's what I wanted. There's the heal. Right behind her. Sorry, Nishantra. You're done. Do that. Do that. Okay, here we go. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. One more time. Oh wait, it's giving me the choice. I may not actually have to fight the final thing. I think the only way to fight Skull of the First Sin thing is to um go, uh, to, go to do the DLC. So you know what, we may have just done it. Okay, so we've beaten the two. And you don't really have to worry about the rest. I mean, you still get, you still solve the game. Proceed to throne. Yep, that's it. We are done. I thought we were going to do all three. We do not. That's only if you do the DLC, which I'm not doing. Not for this playthrough. So we have, we're about to finish Dark Souls 2, which I would still say is the worst Dark Souls game. Don't get me wrong. I think that if this were the first Dark Souls game, and like we were judging it based on its own merits, it would still be considered a great game. Just not the absolute masterpiece that Dark Souls 1 and arguably, well, and Dark Souls 3 are. Who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish in you, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Here we go. <coughs> I'm just going to let this ending play out, and then we'll talk a little during the credits. I thought for sure I had to do it. Let's go. Great Sovereign, take your throne. Look at 
<laughs> my cloak just passes through me. <laughs> I know it's what tattered. You Only you can see. And that's it. So, uh, it, clearly we did not do the DLC, and let me say this, as much as I think Dark Souls 2 is the worst of these games, and as a hardcore fan, I really dislike Dark Souls 2, um, I'll give you my reasons for that, like as a whole, I'll sum it up here in a second, but um, the best stuff in Dark Souls 2 is honestly the DLC. Also, it's some of the worst stuff, but it's more best than worst, we'll go with that. So, um... What about Dark Souls 2 did I not like? Uh, number one, the not-so-great boss design. Dude in armor gets real old real fast. I think the Pursuer works really well as Dude in armor. I honestly think the Watcher and Defender are pretty good Dude in armor uh, because of their gimmick of you have to kill them both you know, within a certain amount of time. Um, I would even say Nashandra is not bad as far as that goes. Um, but there's so many of the others, it just adds up to the point where you're like, here we go again. <laughs> Yet more dudes in armor. The Mirror Knighty at least had a gimmick, but the, the more you get into the Dragon Rider, the double Dragon Riders, um, yeah, I mean, it gets really old really quick, right? And I think that's, oh, um, of course, the old Dragon Slayer is more of a fan service callback kind of thing. But I don't know, it was just too much. Um, I will say in the DLC, there is one really, um, two really good dude in armor fights. One of them is uh, Sir Alon, who is, is just a straight up dude in armor, but he is incredibly difficult, a well balanced, amazing fight. He's hard. Well, it's probably, probably the hardest fight in this entire game, in my opinion. And then the other one is uh, the Fume Knight who his Fume Ultra Greatsword becomes, you know, like, becomes a big deal to wield in this game and in Dark Souls 3. But uh, the Fume Knight has an interesting gimmick to him, and that's what makes him interesting. But again, it's just two dudes in armor, right? And they do have some different bosses in there, but there are some areas in the DLC, especially the snowy DLC, that are just garbage. You don't want to mess with them. But we have finished Dark Souls 2, and uh, the Bonfire Chronicles is now two-thirds of the way done with our journey through the Dark Souls franchise in a simple way, the easiest way I know how, to actually beat the games. So in our next episode, we're going to start Dark Souls 3, which may be the most popular of the three games, just because at that point, people it was starting to try to break into the mainstream a little bit. Um, I mean, clearly the most popular in their line has definitely been Elden Ring. It has just blown up. But now people are going back, and they're usually going back to Dark Souls 3 to try the old stuff instead of Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. The reason is because Dark Souls 3 probably plays closer to the other two. Um, one of my complaints about this one, besides the boss design, is that the feedback isn't right. Like, in the old game, when you hit an enemy, it feels like you're hitting the enemy. They re they physically react to being hit a lot of the time. Um, you physically react to being hit a lot of the time. Um, Dark Souls 3 is going to do that really, really well. This doesn't. It feels like sometimes I'm getting hit, and my body doesn't interact, but like loops over half my health, and I don't even realize I got hit, because I'm like, how did that hit me? The hitboxes are all messed up. There's so many things wrong with this on a technical level. I feel, and I, I'm about, to, no Dark Souls game has received a rating below a 9. And uh, I feel like this is the only one that deserves a rating below a 9. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, but that's just me. I would probably put it at an 8 if it were me. But nonetheless, I still like the game, I guess. But I don't like the game. I, I'm very torn on this one. But... The important thing is I have done this playthrough. It was my second time beating this game. Um, I will probably never touch it again. I will probably play Dark Souls um, 1 again. I've already solved it like four or five times. I'll probably play it again. I will play Dark Souls 3 again. Heck, I'll be playing it for you starting the next episode. But I will not be messing with this one again. I, I honestly never want to play this one again in my life. So, 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bonfire Chronicles. If so, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're interested. I will continue to bring these out every Monday. Soon, I will be finishing up um, the my Bioshock, walk, Bioshock walkthrough called Enraptured. That's on every Wednesday. When that happens, Bonfire Chronicles will go twice a week so I can finish it up quicker. It will become Monday and Wednesday while I'll continue to do Mass Effect Tuesday, Thursday, which I'm in Mass Effect 3 now, so I'm nearing the end of one to the Mass Effect trilogy. So, but that Mass Effect 3 is really, really big, so it may take a while. But once that happens, you, you'll, you'll notice it. It'll be on the channel and I'll, you know, you'll see that the videos will change. And once I'm done with Enraptured, which I'm on the first part of uh, Burial at Sea, and then the second part's a little longer, but after that, that's going to round that up. So, I hope to see you next time on the Bonfire Chronicles when we begin Dark Souls 3.